Hi class, welcome to our week 4 topic which is the e-commerce infrastructure. After topic discussions, the students are expected to identify the hardware and the software technologies used for the development of an e-business network with an enterprise and its partners. Identify the hardware and the software specifications needed to allow employees to access the internet and host e-commerce services. So the evolutions of the internet. So the innovation uh, phase, which is uh, 1964 to 1974, were in the creation of the fundamental building blocks, the packet switching, the TCP IP, the client server computing. And then we also have the institutionalization phase from 1975 to 1995, wherein the large institution provide the funding and legitimization creating the ARPANET. Commercialization phase, which is 95, 1995 onwards, we have the private corporations take over and expand internet backbone and the local components of internet. We have the packet switching. So if you say packet switching, it is a way of transmitting the data in a packet form of a network. So the data is divided into small pieces of variable length, which is called the packet to transmit the file quickly and efficiently over the network and reduce the transmission latency. We also have the client-server computing. So when computing client or server, the clients request a resource and server, and server supports the resource. So the server can support the several clients at the same time well, a client has only one server in the reach. So usually, both the client and the server interact over the network of computers. So usually, they may also reside from the same device. So it functions also includes the file storage, and the software applications and access to um, printers and other peripherals. And then we also have the TCP IP communication protocols. So the transmission control protocols establishes the links between the web computers and that sends and receive. So it manages the packet assembly at transmitting points and reassembles at the receiving ends. So the TCP IP communications protocol layers includes the network interface layer. So the network interface layer is responsible for placing packets on and receiving them from the network mediums and then we also have the internet layer, the responsible for addressing, packaging, and routing messages on the internet. We also have the transport layer, which is responsible for providing uh, communications with the applications by acknowledging and sequencing the packets to and from the applications. We also have the application layer, which provides a variety of uh, applications with the ability to access the services of the lower layers. The domain name and the uniform resource locator. So the domain name system is operated by the internet organization for assigned names and numbers, which is also known as the ICANN. So it is a non-profit company that establishes and implements the domain name policy. So the domain name is a website address that people type to access 
the website in the browser URL bar. So the internet is the vast network of uh, computers which are linked by a global uh, cable network. So every machine is able to communicate with the other computers on their network. So for recognize this, so an IP address is assigned to each device. So this is a set of numbers representing a particular device on the internet. The domain names can be used in a several different extensions. So the most famous of those is the .com. So there are also plenty and other choices including the .org, .net, .tv, .info, .io, and many more. So the domain names trade is a multi-million dollar market. So because of the domain names are so cheap, the smart uh, entrepreneurs are always searching for the ideas to get their own hand on a great domain names. And then we also have the addresses, which used of a web browser to identify the location of the content on the web, which is called as the Uniform Resource Locator or the URL. So this is used by the web browser to identify the locations of the content of the web. So these are the types of domain. We have the top level domain or the PLD. These are the generic domains extensions that are listed at the highest level in the domain name systems. It includes the .org, .com, .net, .biz, .info, .agency. For country code top level domain or the CCTLD, the country specific domain names which end with a country code extension. So example, Philippines, we have .ph and the India, which is the .in. We also have the sponsored top level domains or the STLD. It is a category of the top level domains that has sponsor representing a specific community served by the domain extension. So let's say, for example, we have the .edu for education, .gov for government. Plus, these are the limitations of the current technology. We have the bandwidth limitation. So if we say bandwidth limitations, um, the internet today is slow and unable to easily transfer and views the large files such as the videos and the voice files. So I think um, what we call as the slow peak hour service. Next we have the quality of service limitations. Not all data packets arrive in the right order at the same time. So, which create delay. And that delay is what we call the latency. And then we have the network architecture limitations, which are identical, identical requests, which are processed individually, such as downloading a music or a track for future upgrades to the internet infrastructure. That would be improved the way in which the server process the information request and thus increase the overall efficiency. We have the wired internet. The wired internet, the copper are expensive as well as the fiber optic cables. So the internet is um, primarily based on the physical cables which limit the user's mobility. And then we also have the language development limitations. So the nature of the HTML restricts the quality of a rich information 
that can be shared online. So the future languages will enable the um, improved display and viewing of videos and graphics. So class, we have the internet and the web features. So the email, the email uh, is the most widely used internet program. So because it allows the transmissions of messages containing the text, images, the sounds, video clips from one internet to another user. So it also requires attachments which are files that are included in the letter and the files that records pictures, sounds, clips or videos. And then we also have the instant messaging. So unlike email, it allows us to um, to send messages in real time. Uh, one line at a time. So the email messages have a time lag between the sending and receiving of messages of the several seconds to minutes. And then we also have the search engine which recognize the web pages that tends to match the keywords which are often called as the queries entered by a user and they include a little best matches which is what we call the search search results and then we also have the um, online forum also known as the message board where in the newsletter board the discussion board or a discussion board or group or Simply a board or a forum is a software application that enable the internet to connect with each other but not in real time. So the online chat enables users to communicate via computer in real time simultaneously. And then we also have the Streaming media enables the live internet video, music, photos, and other large bandwidth uh, files that to be transmitted to users in a number of ways, enabling the users to play back the files. And then we also have the cookie. It is a tool that is used by a website to store information about the user. So, when a visitor enters the website, the site sends a small text, which is a cookie, to the user's computer so that the information from the site can be loaded more quickly on the future visits. And then we have blog. If we say blog, it is a personal web page that are usually containing from its author, a collection of chronological entities and links to a similar web pages, the blog may also a, a blog roll or a compilation of links to another blog and track box as a list of entries in other blogs that are lead to the first blog post. And then we also have the real, really simple syndication or the RSS. So this allows the users to have the digital content, which includes the text, the articles, blogs, podcasts, the audio files, which are automatically sent to their computers over the internet. Next, we have the podcast. Podcast is an audio presentation that is recorded as an audio file and posted online. And then we also have the wiki. It is a web application that allows a user to easily add and edit the content of the web page. Last, these are the references that we use for week 4 topic. 
So, you may visit those links for further readings.